Is the CryptoTap NFT mining option really a great and easy way to earn free Bitcoin or is it a waste of time and money? My name is Michael and I have previously made some videos about CryptoTap and recently they launched a new option where you can mine NFT supposedly and earn more by doing that and many viewers have asked me about it, so therefore I decided to record this video and in this CryptoTap NFT mining review I will show you how to set it up, how to connect it and also the pros and the cons because there are some things you need to consider before starting to use this option. So before I show you the NFT mining option on CryptoTab, just a quick sum up of CryptoTab in case you do not know that. And I also have a full video, I'll leave a link in the top corner with a full tutorial about it. If you already know that, just jump uh, to the next sessions by using the timestamps in the description below. But anyway, CryptoTab is a browser you can install on different devices, your computer and your phone and earn just by mining Bitcoin in the background. You just need to set it up and then you will earn whenever you are connected and using the browser. But there has been some reductions in the ways you can earn, some limitations, and in general, it does take patience. It's very easy to do. You just need to set it up and then you just earn passively, which is definitely great, but it does take some patience. And therefore, many people have asked, how can you earn more? And then CryptoTab launched this CryptoTab NFT mining option that you can now use to earn more. But the big question is then, is it actually worth it? So let's go over that first, what it is, how to connect it, how much you can earn, so you can find out if you should use this option or not. So on the landing page of the CryptoTab NFT mining, you can see that they say that you can now do this here and they have this option now where you can grow your Bitcoin income more than twice and it provides your income in Bitcoin and stable hash rate regardless of the power of your hardware. So it sounds very good and uh, it's I always like when different platforms offer new opportunities to boost your earnings, especially when it comes to passive earnings. So all this sounds good and you can go to the website and read more about it but I will talk a little bit more about the different options also here later for now let's just see how you actually get started because you need to connect it you can go to the dashboard there but you also need to connect it so let's try to go to the dashboard and then we'll take it from there how to set it up so to be able to use it, you need a wallet like MetaMask and you can install that for free. You can just go to Google and search for MetaMask, find the website and install it there. And then you can connect it. You can see now I have connected to my wallet and I, you can also see I have a tab up there with uh, MetaMask. And you can see I am connected there. So this is what I'm connected to. You just need to be aware that it needs to be on the Polygon network that you connected to the CryptoTab mining there. If you do not know how to do that, I would recommend you just also search on Google for add Polygon to MetaMask. And then one of the options is from CoinMarketCap that is a reliable source. They describe it, what information you need to do. It literally takes two minutes, very easy to do. So you can do that and you need this to be able to use this NFT mining option. So the idea is then that you will get more of these hash rates and earn more Bitcoin if you disconnect it and do this so-called NFT mining. However, you do need to buy one of the CryptoTab NFTs to be able to do this. And you cannot really see this now until after I have connected it. So now you can see now I need to buy a token there on OpenSea. So a little bit strange this that I need the NFTs to be able to do this NFT mining, but let's try to see what happens if I want to buy a token. You can see now I get different options and I can buy these different ones and I can see the details of them, these different NFTs and how much they will give me an increase and how many days it will be for and also the price in Ethereum. And some of them are quite expensive. You can see this one is 0.5 ether and how much that is of course depends on the current rate of ethereum so it can be you know anywhere of course on depending on the market but from a thousand dollars for half a one to maybe two thousand or whatever so it's quite expensive some of them and then they give different benefits but you can also click here to see the details and that's what you then get more details you can also click the play there and then you go to open c and you can see it and then you then see the current value in us dollars so that makes it very easy to see 
But you need to get one of these to be able to actually start mining with CryptoTab. And these are just some of the examples. These ones, some of them quite expensive as you can see. But they also have others. I'll just try to jump you and show you some more here. You can see if I, for example, now am on OpenSea and you can see some of the different collections are collected. They have their CryptoTab. There are quite a lot of them there, but some of them are also like this one is 3.1 ether for it, right? Some of them a little bit more reasonable priced. Uh, this one 16 ether. It's like really, um, yeah, that's a lot of money for some of them. Luckily, they have some that are cheaper. You saw around these 20, 30 dollars. There are some that you can get for that. And if you go to the activity tab inside OpenSea, you can see there is some action. Some of them are actually being sold. So that's of course uh, fine, but there's not a lot of activity because I would say like, you need to also know that you are able to sell them again. And these ones like, some of them are expensive, some of them definitely more reasonable, but let's overall just like talk about that. Will it be worth it? Will you be able to make back your money by doing this? So what is important if you want to invest in something like this is of course how fast you can pay, make back your money. And I would say that yes, you get a quite nice boost by buying some of the more expensive ones, but I have honestly not tested because I'm not willing to, for example, pay even like 0.1 ether to do this or some of them as you saw cost 16 ether <laughs> to be able to get it. The boost to make that back, that's like thousands of thousands of dollars. Yeah, I, I don't know how long that would take. I have not been able to calculate that uh, because yeah, that's just that would take way too long. The ones that are cheaper, you know, I cannot say for sure. Personally, right now, this is a fairly new option. I, and I just recently came across it. I'm not willing to buy these ones that cost like 30 $50 to do it. It might be worth it. I would say that even though it's fairly cheap, you should not expect to make it back fast. It will take some time because you can also see in this case, for example, it only lasts for like 30 days, the boost there. So if you want to do this and the reason I'm not doing it is that I think that there are better ways to potentially right now buy NFTs and uh, different other crypto. These NFTs of crypto type might end up being popular and maybe eventually you'll be very happy that you got some of them while they were cheaper because some of them are cheap. I cannot say how that will go. If you believe in that, then it might be worth it just because you then have it, but also for the boost. But for the boost alone, I'm, I'm not convinced. I would say then what you would need to do is to see it like because it also depends on how else you use crypto tab but then get one of the cheaper ones run it for a month or for however long you need to be able to see it and then see does it give enough return on my earnings personally I think that it will be hard to make back or just cover it but I do think it's interesting that they have started to introduce this but I do also think that right now as of recording this video there needs to be certain improvements before it's something that I will jump into but also if you have decided to do it yourself and if you have invested in one of the NFTs that I would love to hear about your experiences how much did you pay for it how much did it increase your earnings that would be great to hear so just please feel free to share that in the comment below so then all of us can see the different results depending on the NFTs you bought and all that and gather that information then maybe I'll make a follow-up video later also if I decide to invest in one of them myself so just just please feel free to share that. So to sum it all up, I overall think that crypto tab is in general quite interesting and also an option that I've been using myself. I also have a video with payment proof. I'll leave a link in the top corner and you can also find a full tutorial through the link below this video there where you can read more and also see how to join because I do like in general ways where you can earn passively and also where you can earn Bitcoin and crypto passively and usually it pays very fast. It's, uh, you know, takes so little effort. So that's what I do like about it. And I do like that they were trying to invent some new options to boost your earnings with, for example, this NFT mining, but it will require an investment and that investment, I'm not yet convinced that it will be that great because it will be hard and it will take some patience to earn back what you invest. But I can't say for sure that I 
don't recommend it. I can just show you exactly what you need to consider and as you can see also how to set it up. But I just wanted to make you aware of this that you do need to invest. I would suggest that if you do it, start with one of the cheaper ones and test it like that because getting one of the more expensive ones, like, no, that's of course up to you. Personally, that's not something that I would invest in. That's like too much of investment for me uh, to, to jump into it like that. But many people have asked me about it and that's why I decided to record this video to show exactly how to connect it but also where to find these NFTs and what to consider when it comes to the price and my personal opinion about it. So I hope that this video helped you figure out if you should use this new crypto tab NFT mining or not. And if it did help you then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time there's a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make some extra money on the side online.